Hey there. So today we are going to talk about how to do some lightweight customization of your SharePoint form using JSON instead of Power Apps. And the reason you do this is if you do not want to have it take an excessive amount of time to do basic formatting. Power Apps is awesome. It's a very powerful tool, but I wouldn't say that it's a go to for some very, you know, basic look and feel things. So what we're going to do is jump on over to a website that is form.challigan.com and a very cool person made this website and it basically lets you select an icon, background color, and some header text for your header um, and body sections and a footer and then it spits out the JSON that you need to paste into SharePoint so that you don't have to write it yourself. So what I've done is I've selected a background color. I'm going to put the link to this in the video description, by the way. So my uh, background color is teal. For the icon name, it gives you a link to the Microsoft Fabric um, UI icons. And what you can do with these is if you go ahead and hover on the one that you want, it gives you the name of it. So when you click on it, um, that doesn't seem to give you what you need. So just hover on the one that you want. You'll notice that these um, have a little title. It's that top line that you want. That'll work for the form customization. So in my case, I selected the BI dashboard icon. And for the color, I did white because white looks nice on a dark color background. And um, same thing for the header text, same color as the icon. And then here's my text for my header. And when you're done, you click on this update header button and it gives you your JSON. So you just copy that and then you go on over to your SharePoint list and click on your new form button. And in this top right hand corner, there's an icon that says edit form. If you click on that and then go to configure layout, you get a drop down with the same options as were on that website. So you get a header, body and footer. And so what you do is you just paste in the code from that site and if you want to you can adjust these a little bit like you can change the font size and whatnot um, or the font style if you want to but it lets you do a preview so you can preview what the changes look like and then save when you're done if you don't like whatever you did or you want to go back and take it out all you do is go into the same place and just erase this text in here and save it so we did our header and now let's do our body so the body lets you add sections so sections being like kind of groups of fields and these use the display name for the fields that you have so whatever the name is in your form as it appears even if it had spaces or special characters just enter it in like that here and you can give it a section name if you give it a blank name for the section it'll just it'll still have a section but it won't have a name attached to it so i did that for this first one this is a really short form so it's kind of overkill to have sections but I wanted to demo it so we have sections so just add a field to add a column put in your column title uh, and then and add a section for each section that you want and then it will spit out your JSON so you copy this do the same thing as before so go on over to the body section paste it in here I found that the preview of the body formatting didn't work when I was doing it, so I thought it wasn't working, but it was. So if you just save it and then go in and check your form, it should display your sections. And then for the footer, what I did here is I added a little kind of hint text about the um, attachments because the attachments is something that comes with all of the SharePoint lists that it very oftentimes people either don't notice it's there or don't think that they should use it. So I'm giving them kind of a little prompt that says if you have an error message or a screenshot that's relevant, please attach it in the attachments field. I probably should have worded it like that here, but so it goes. Uh, and then that one, so let's go on and look at it over here. So your options here, you get background color, text color, and the actual text that goes in the footer. So that works exactly the same way. So when you save it, it just basically gives you a slightly nicer looking form. So that's cool. So that was how to lightly customize your SharePoint form. Thank you for watching.